Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay, so here we have two matrix spaces, x d1 and y d2, and we have a product matrix space also, x cross y comma d. So d is defined in this way. It is defined with the help of matrix d1 and d2. Square root of d1 square plus d2 square, right? What we have to prove? We have to prove that if you have any Cauchy sequence. Cauchy sequence x and y in, in matrix space product matrix space x cross y. So it is a sequence in x cross y. So obviously there will be two component. First component will be from x and the second component will be from y. Okay. So what we have to prove if you have any Cauchy sequence in x cross x and y in, in x cross y, then x n is Cauchy in x and y n is Cauchy in y. And the converse part also we have to prove. If and only if statement is there getting so that means if x n y n is Cauchy in x cross y then x n is Cauchy in x y n is Cauchy in y and if x n Cauchy in x and y n is Cauchy in y then x n y n is a Cauchy sequence in x cross y in both ways we have to prove right so let us start with one part okay so what will I do I will assume assume that so I am assuming that x n y n x n y n is a Cauchy sequence in x cross y d. So this thing I am assuming x n y n is a Cauchy sequence in this product matrix space x cross y. Now my target is to prove x n is Cauchy in x and y n is Cauchy in y. So we are familiar with the definition of Cauchy sequence same definition I will use everywhere in this proof right so you know the epsilon definition one epsilon is required here so let us take one epsilon let epsilon greater than 0 be given so we have this information that x and y is a Cauchy sequence so the definition says if you have any epsilon there exists capital N okay so let me write the uh, using definition so there exist therefore there exist capital N belongs to set of natural number such that such that D of D of getting so yes the first element that is X N Y N so see we have a sequence like this so the element is X N Y N and the second element X M X M Y M less than epsilon for all n comma m greater than or equal to capital N. So simply using the definition of um, see Cauchy sequence, I got this one. Okay, let us go further. But see this metric D is defined in this way. So what can we write using this definition? So therefore, see this D is defined in this way. So it is equal to square root of okay square root of what we do here D1 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 of so we write the element of elements of x so here xn and xm these are elements of x so d1 will operate on elements of x so i should write here xn comma xm whole square plus d2 d2 is operating on elements of y so elements of y are yn and ym so i should write here yn ym square is there and we have it is less than epsilon less than epsilon actually i should carry this condition everywhere but there is no much space so yes so i will skip at the end i will only mention so using definition of d i got this one so to remove square root what will i do i will take square of both sides let us take square of both sides square root will get cancelled so d1 xn xm square plus d2 y n y m square less than I am taking square of both sides so that's why here we will get epsilon square see what we are doing we are adding two terms getting we are adding two terms so square means whole square huh? square means what whole square here right so we are adding two squares and it is less than epsilon square that means each of them is less than epsilon square getting square we have so th those terms cannot be negative those are non-negative terms we are adding and it is less than epsilon square so each of them d1 xn xm square less than epsilon square and d2 of 
y n y m square less than epsilon square. Then what will I do? I will take square root of both sides. D1 is a distance, so it cannot be negative. It's a metric actually, cannot be negative. So D1 xn xm less than epsilon and D2 yn ym less than epsilon by taking square root of both sides. So I got this one. Okay. So let us write the same condition for all n m greater than or equal to capital N. Actually, I supposed to write this condition everywhere, but just lack of space. I'm not writing and I mention it here again. So did you notice one thing? This is definition of Cauchy sequence. So we can say x n therefore, therefore x n is Cauchy x n is Cauchy in matrix space x and matrix D1 and here we can say this is definition of Cauchy sequence. So that's why y n is Cauchy in y D2 okay matrix D2. So in this way we prove if x n y is a Cauchy sequence in x cross y then x n is Cauchy in x and y n is Cauchy in y okay just make a screenshot of it. Uh, then we will go further. So let us prove the converse part. Okay, in converse part, uh, what we have? Let me write conversely. See, conversely, we assume that x n and y n are Cauchy sequence in x and y respectively. Conversely, assume that x n and y n are Cauchy in x and y respectively, right? And what we have to prove? We have to prove that x and y is a Cauchy sequence in that product matrix space x cross y with this matrix D. Okay, so let us start to prove. Again, I will use the epsilon definition. So let us take one epsilon first. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. So this time, we have these two important information, right? That xn is Cauchy in x and yn is Cauchy in y. So by using definition of Cauchy sequence, we will get two important things. Let me write. So yes, therefore, so these two informations we have. So therefore, there exist. By definition of Cauchy sequence, we can say for this epsilon, there exists some natural number. n1 and n2 belongs to set of natural number such that basically this n1 is for sequence xn and this n2 for sequence y. Okay, so by definition of Cauchy sequence, what can we write in such that d1 of xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N1 and d2 of y n y m less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N2. Okay, so you know that xn is a sequence from capital X sequence from uh, yes capital X okay with matrix D1 so that's why I'm writing D1 here and Y is a sequence from capital Y with matrix D2 so that's why I'm writing D2 here okay so by definition of Cauchy sequence easily we got these two things but I'm going to do a small adjustment that is instead of epsilon I'm going to write epsilon by root 2 and here also I will do the same this is adjustment right see let me call it as 1 and this is Two. But the problem is that this one is true for capital N1 and this one is true for capital N2. Okay, that means statement one is true for all natural numbers N and M which are greater than N1 and statement true is, uh, two is true for all natural numbers N and M which are greater than or equal to N2. But see we have to wa we want both statements simultaneously true. Then what will I do? I will choose maximum of N1 and N2. In previous examples also many times we have done this thing. So I will do the same here Let n is equal to maximum of n1 and n2. Now no issue will create getting so the both of them will be true for this capital N. Okay, so let me write directly. What is our target? Our target is to prove this x n y is a Cauchy sequence in x cross y. So let us start to prove. Consider. Consider for n m initially i am considering this thing that means we can easily use these two uh, statements directly 
d of get it what is the first term x and y this is a one term in uh, c product matrix space second term x m y m okay so now what can we do we can apply this definition so will you tell me what can we write using this definition definition says we should write the square root first then d1 okay there is square actually but d1 we need to apply d1 on elements of x that means here xn and xm i can take plus get it after that what we have d2 whole square again get it but d2 is operating on elements of y so here we have yn and ym right so see us uh, d1 of x and xm same thing we have so its value is less than epsilon by root 2 let me write so it is less than epsilon by root 2 whole square plus d2 of y and ym this is less than epsilon by root 2 so epsilon by root 2 whole square getting at the beginning we have clearly mentioned n and m greater than or equal to capital n so that's why no need to worry about this inequalities let us take square here epsilon square by 2 by taking square here also epsilon square by 2 so this is equal to epsilon square by 2 plus epsilon by square by 2 you will get epsilon square 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 root will get cancelled and we will have epsilon so that's why d of x and x a x and y n comma x m y m less than epsilon so therefore i can declare therefore x and y n is cauchy in x cross y d so in this way we proved a sequence x and y n is cauchy in x cross y if and only if x n is cauchy in x and y n is cauchy in y okay so Proof is over here. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.